እንኳን ለነውጣችሁ ቻናል ቢተሰቦች እንግዲህ ለከረጅም ጊዜ በኋላ ተገናኝ ተናል ማለት ነው ትንሽ ቢዚ ስለነበር ቆይ እንግዲህ ያምናው ፋይናል ኤግዛም ሰራላችኋለሁ ዛሬ ትሩ ፎርሱን ለመስራት ሞክራለሁ so የመጀመሪያው ትሩ ፎርስ ለመጀመሪያው ሚለው Uh, the inverse of any function is also a function the inverse of any function is also a function so what what what, what does it mean a function by itself so before we define a function a relation we have relation so from those relations satisfying some properties we call it uh, that relation as a function so a relation is said to be a function if uh, if uh, uh, every domain if uh, every element in the domain should map to um, a single element in the range should map to a single element in the range or in other word no no element in the domain should map to two different elements in the in, in the range in the range so uh, the inverse of any function is also a function so with uh, um, we can take a counter example uh, to say that whether uh, uh, any function is uh, is said to be uh, the dangers of any function is said to be a function also. so if you consider f as a f as a function then um, f containing a set of elements f containing set of elements just uh, like uh, uh, one one three one three which is a function one three uh, we take account a function uh, we take a function which is two uh, two six two six and another set set element three 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 six three six just if we consider uh, this function this is just a function this is just a function uh, but what about its f inverse what about f inverse f inverse is uh, just uh, contains all those elements uh, by changing uh, uh, the second order pairs to the first order pair uh, and the first order pair to the second order pair so uh, from the first one we we have this one three three one we have three one and uh, second one is uh, we have the six two six two and uh, uh, the third one is six six uh, three six three so as we have said that uh, uh, a function a relation said to be function if no element in the domain should map to two different elements in the range we, we have said just like this one when we are defining the function so a single element six map to two different elements in the range two and three so this one is not a function therefore the truth value for this statement is uh, false this statement is false the other one a function of uh, the form x cubed minus three x minus two has at least one zero in between zero one this one just uh, uh, when we have uh, learned about uh, uh funk uh, polynomial functions we have seen location theorem that uh, uh, finds uh, the interval where the value of the function should, may 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 have a root in between two uh, points in, in um, the set of real numbers so if we take uh, uh, the, the the location theorem says that if we have uh, uh, the function value of uh, uh, f a times uh, the function value of uh, b the function value of b is uh, less than less than zero less than zero which means if it is negative if it's negative then there exists a, a root between a and b there exists a root between a and b such that a is less than b considering that a is less than b considering that a is less than b. if 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 it satisfies this condition then we can find at least one zero in between a and b so using this uh, location theorem Let's, let's find f of zero is how much f of zero is uh, f of zero is clearly negative two f of zero is clearly which is equal to negative two and f of three is how much 
f of 3 which is equal to f of 3 which is equal to f of 3 which is equal to f of 3 is just uh, x 3 cubed which is uh, 27 27 uh, minus uh, minus uh, 9 minus minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 which is just greater than which is just greater than 0 and this one is less than 0 so the the product of f of 0 and f of 3 is less than 0 which because 1 is negative so that there is at least one root between 0 and 3 there is at least one zero in between zero and three on, on, on the interval zero and three. So this statement is a true statement. This statement is a true statement. The third one is the domain of a polynomial function is always the set of real numbers. The domain of a polynomial function is always the set of clearly we have defined in the class that the, set, the domain of a polynomial function is the set of real numbers. And the fourth one is a complex number a plus bi is a zero for the polynomial function p of x, then a minus bi is also the zero of the polynomial function. So when we have seen the um, polynomial function say in Atlas, we have the stated different theorems uh, about root of the polynomial function. And one of these theorem is one of these theorem is uh, the conjugate root theorem, the conjugate root theorem. The conjugate root theorem they say that if uh, uh, for 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 a polynomial function with uh, real real uh, number coefficients with that has real number coefficients, then if a plus bi if one 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 of the root one of the polynomial the one of the root of the polynomial function is a complex number, then it it the, the complex number then it conjugates also the complex number. So what what this one is a conjugate clearly the conjugate of this number the conjugate of this number. So. Uh, this statement is a true statement. This statement is a true statement. Uh, and the fifth one is the line y, which is equal to x minus 1, is an oblique asymptote for the function x squared minus x plus 6 over x minus 2. Here, uh, when we are say, looking on the, the rational functions, when we are looking at the graph of rational functions, uh, the graph of rational functions have uh, different asymptotes, vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote, and an oblique asymptote. And we have said that um, um, the, uh, given that uh, f of x, which is equal to f of x, uh, we co let's consider f of x, which is equal to f of x, which is equal to the, the n of x, which is the nominator, n of x, the nominator function, over uh, the denominator d of x, d of x the denominator d of x, then um, this um, uh, rational function, this rational function, provided that d of x should be the domain of this rational function, the domain of this rational function is, is the set of all real numbers, the set of all real numbers, except, except those, those uh, x's, except those x's, except those x, x different from, um, x different, x, x, x says that, uh, x says that, uh, X says that x x d of x should be d of x should be should be different from d should be equal to zero. So for this, uh, uh, this is the domain of the the rational functions. So those numbers, real numbers that makes the denominator um, which is equal to zero should be de discluded from the set of uh, uh, from the set of the domain of uh, the rational function. Now uh, those numbers that makes the denominator uh, zero are uh, values of uh, values or numbers uh, which are not included in the domain mean that um, they are not uh, the function is not defined uh, at those points the fact is not is not defined at those points so that um, they will be considered as the vertical asymptotes to the graph the vertical asymptotes to the graph and uh, uh, <clears throat> the function will have uh, 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 an, a horizontal asymptote. The function will have a horizontal asymptote. The function will have a horizontal asymptote. Uh, if um, if 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 the degree of uh, the degree of the degree of uh, the degree of uh, the nominator nominator the degree of the nominator. Uh, 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 is less than or equal to the degree of uh, the degree of uh, the degree of the denominator, the degree of uh, the denominator, n of x, the degree of the denominator. 
n of a, uh, d of x, the degree of denominator n of x. It has two cases. When the degree of um, when the degree of uh, denominator, if the degree of denominator, if the degree of the the leading coefficient of the degree of denominator, uh, if the degree of the if the degree of denominator equal to the degree of the denominator, if the degree of denominator equal to the degree of denominator, then the horizontal asymptote will be the 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 the, the um, uh, ratio of the leading coefficients of the two functions, the ratio of the leading coefficients of the two functions. And if the degree of the denominator n of x is completely less than to the degree of the denominator, the, the denominator, then y, which is equal to zero, will be considered as the horizontal asymptote, will be considered as the horizontal asymptote. And uh, uh, a given Russian function is said to be said to have an oblique asymptote, is said to have an, an oblique asymptote if the degree of uh, the degree of uh, the denominator, if the degree of the denominator, the degree of the denominator, if the degree of the denominator, n of x, n of x, the degree of the denominator, n of x, is is one degree greater than the degree of the denominator. If the degree of the denominator is one degree greater than the degree of the degree of the uh, denominator, the degree of the denominator, d of x, the degree of the denominator, d of x. Uh, plus one degree, plus one degree. Clearly, now from the given function, from the given Russian function, the degree of the denominator is one degree greater than the degree of the denominator. One degree greater than the degree of the denominator. So uh, it should have an oblique asymptote. Now, is that that oblique asymptote y is equal to x minus one? Is that? Let's do that. Now. When we are uh, factorizing x squared minus x plus uh, six, uh, how can we find uh, the, 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 the uh, uh, x minus one? Or we can use long division. We can use long division to find the other uh, uh, values. So x minus two, x minus two, which is, uh, we have this one. Um, we have this one, x squared. <laughs> x square, uh, x square minus x minus x plus six plus six. When we divide it, it just gives x, which is x square, x square minus two x minus two x. Then they subtract it. Then it becomes, which is three x, which is three x plus six is left. Then three x plus six to x minus two, then we we have three, we have three, which is three times x is three x, three x, and uh, minus six. So when we subtract it, we get zero. We get zero. Therefore, x plus uh, we can see that f of x, f of x, f of x, which is equal to, which is equal to, x plus x plus uh, three, x plus three x plus three times x minus two, okay? x minus two, x minus, x minus two, over, 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 over x minus two, x minus two, x minus two. So this one, we can see that this one, so what's left, x plus three is left, x plus three is uh, left. Sorry, uh, I, I think I have made some mistake here. I have made some mistake here. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so let's let's come back for, for from from the long division. Let's come back to, to, to the, our long division, so so that uh, we can uh, correct it. So from from uh, the subtraction from the first one, the subtraction from the first one, you can see that this subtraction, when we x square minus x square is zero, so minus x plus two x, which is we get uh, x is that left plus six x plus six is left. So x plus six and x plus, which is x plus one, x plus one. So uh, one times x, which is x, and um, uh, one times minus two, which is minus two. When we subtract it, when we subtract it, it is zero. And here this one, we get eight, we get eight. Therefore, the function f of x can be written as, the function f of x can be written as, the function f of x can be written as, x plus one, x plus one, plus, plus eight over eight over 
8 over x minus 2. x minus 2. So clearly, the oblique asymptote is this one, x plus 1. The oblique asymptote is this one, x plus 1. Hence, y, the line y is equal to x minus 1 is not an oblique asymptote. Instead, x plus 1 is an oblique asymptote. So clearly, the statement is a false statement. The statement is false statement. So we have finished the true-false part. So on the next section, uh, on, next, on, on our next uh, video, I will work the multiple choice part. So um, wish you all the best and uh, share this video, subscribe my channel and um, try to um, uh, uh, see, give me a comment to improve those uh, uh, working videos. Thank you.